Today's video is sponsored by Netflix Games. Big news for gamers and Netflix subscribers. The critically acclaimed game Hades is now available on Netflix Games. That's right, with your Netflix subscription, you can now dive into this epic roguelike dungeon crawler at no extra cost. Let me show you how to get started with Hades on the Netflix app. It's incredibly easy, and I'll guide you through each step. On iOS, simply start from the home screen in the app. Swipe down until you see the mobile games row. Here, you'll find Hades. Let's tap on it. After selecting Hades, you'll see an App Store banner. From there, you can easily start your adventure in the underworld. But Hades isn't the only gem you'll find. Netflix offers over 80 mobile games as part of your subscription. From puzzles to adventures, all games are available at no additional fees or ads. It's gaming simplified, directly through your Netflix app. Once again, thank you for Netflix Games for sponsoring and back to the video. Hey everyone, Nick here and welcome back to GameTube, and welcome back to our Poppy Playtime character concept series. So the character we've created for today's video is called Grumpy Groundhog. So we're going to this character's backstory, gameplay mechanics, and all that good stuff. But before we do any of that, do be sure to leave a like and subscribe, it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. It also keeps you up to date with the videos that we post. Alrighty, well with that all out of the way, let's get into the character concept of Grumpy Groundhog. So previously in our Puppy Playtime character concept series, we've been looking into the forgotten critters who live in Critterland. Ever since the player found themselves in this new area, it's been nothing but chaos. Once again, they've found themselves up against the evil Forgotten Smiling Critter characters. Each one has proven to be just as deadly as the last. Each and every turn they've made has been an endless nightmare. And although they've met a helpful character on their journey, it still wasn't enough to get them to safety. The last Forgotten Critter that the player encountered was called Bandit Bat. This was a blind character who would only attack at the sound of coins and metal. The player had to slowly inch their way down a corridor filled with coins. If they made even the slightest noise, then Bandit Bat would attack. In the end, the player found a new spot for Bandit to sleep in and they escaped. But now, as they make their way through Critterland, they are sure to run into another dangerous toy before they know it. Speaking of, let's introduce this new toy. So, the next Forgotten Critter character we're introducing is called Grumpy Groundhog. This grumpy little guy is quite the character. His official backstory is that he's a coal miner who works underground and isn't too happy about it. Day after day, he digs underground mining for all the coal he can. Even his emblem is a piece of coal. He'd always be covered in dirt and coal dust from his hard day's work. But that's the way he liked it. There was no one to bother him whilst he was underground. It was just him and the coal. The only time he was grumpy was when he had to talk to others. So underground is where he stayed. He'd dig and dig as much as he could. He dug so much that eventually something awful happened to poor Grumpy. And ever since this tragic accident, Grumpy Groundhog was never the same. Grumpy Groundhog. Better steer clear. This is one Grumpy Groundhog. His one and only goal is to mine for coal. Get in his way and you'll surely pay. Scent, toasted marshmallow. So like his bio says, Grumpy spent all his time down in the mines. But the Playtime Co. factory didn't have a mine. This didn't stop Grumpy though. He was determined to find coal if it was the last thing he ever did. So Grumpy started burrowing deep down below the factory. He would chip away at all the concrete until he found his precious coal. But the more he dug, the more it was apparent there was nothing there. And the lack of coal made Grumpy even more and more angry. But one day, Grumpy dug a little too deep, and instead of striking coal, he actually struck an underground gas pipe. It ruptured and filled Grumpy's underground caverns with gas. And this gas in particular was in fact Catnap's red nightmare smoke. The pipe kept leaking the red gas day after day, and the longer Grumpy stayed underground, the more he was affected by it. Eventually, he morphed into an unrecognizable creature. This twisted creature version of Grumpy would lurk down below in the mines that he created. Luckily, the red gas eventually subsided. When the player diverted the red smoke in Chapter 3, it cleared up the gas leak. But it was already too late. Grumpy Groundhog was already too far gone. And all that remained was this twisted version. Here and there, he'd resurface and hoard random objects underground and one specific object would lead the player deep down below, where they'd come face to face with Grumpy. Speaking of, let's return back to the player. 
so our main protagonist has found themselves in quite a pickle. Before them is yet another large metal door. It's securely locked and requires two special keys to open it. There's already one of the special keys inside the lock, but the other one is missing. These keys must have been pretty important. So important that the workers had a tracking device linked to the keys. The player grabs the tracking device and hopes to find the last key. So they've been walking all over this area hoping to get a beat on this key. Eventually the tracker starts picking up on something. The player starts to follow wherever it leads. Unfortunately it leads down into a deep dark cavern. The key has to be somewhere down in here. As much as they didn't want to enter this cavern, they knew they had to if they wanted to get out of here. So they enter inside and follow the tracker. They venture through the underground tunnels listening to the beeps from the tracker. But suddenly they get another reading on the screen. Whatever it is, it seems to be moving. It looks like the workers must have put tracking devices inside the critters as well. And whatever this critter is, it's moving right towards them. The player needs to hide quickly. They duck behind a wooden crate and hope for the best. They peer around and see what the tracker has picked up. It was Grumpy Groundhog. He's lurking around the tunnels searching for whoever has entered his mine uninvited. The player has to stay hidden as best as they can. Because if this twisted groundhog finds them, he'll be more than just grumpy. Finally, the coast was clear. The player now continues their search for the key. But they need to be careful. They would need to use the tracker sparingly. They still need to know where the key is, but the beeps from the tracker will alert grumpy. So the player continues the search whilst being very careful. And every time grumpy reappeared, they would need to move quickly and hide once more. Eventually, after a bunch of tracking and hiding, they find the special key. Now, all they need to do is get out of these tunnels and back to the lock. As they turn the next corner, Grumpy ambushes them right away. He's furious that the player is down here, and he will make sure they don't escape. The player makes a run for it, and now the chase is on. The player needs to remember the way back to the surface, so they need to navigate through all the tunnels and make the correct turns. And if they make a wrong turn and reach a dead end, Grumpy would get them. But luckily for the player, they remember what way they came in. They rush out of the cavern and rush over to the lock. But it seems like Grumpy hasn't exited the cavern and chased after them. He was satisfied enough with the player leaving his underground domain. He slinks back into the darkness to be alone once again. Now the player can use the key and open the door. As they continue on their journey through Critterland, they need to prepare for whatever comes next. And as to who that will be, we'll just have to wait and see. So I think the idea of Grumpy Groundhog would be pretty interesting to see. I think that the underground mines would be a creepy environment to explore. And also the tracker would open up some interesting gameplay mechanics as well. All in all, I'd say that Grumpy Groundhog would be another great addition to the Forgotten Critters. Alrighty everyone, well that's all we have for today's video, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did enjoy, do be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe, as it helps a lot and it's greatly appreciated. As always, let me know what you thought of Grumpy Groundhog and what you'd like to see going forward. Also, I just wanted to thank you all for watching, and also a very big thank you to our GamerJube members as well. As always, if you'd like to help support us that extra bit and be a GamerJube member, then click the join button down below or the link as well. Alrighty, well, until our next Poppy Playtime character concept video, I'll catch you later, bye.